So how's it going guys, Shady you're back with another uh, combo uh, tutorial and today I'm going to show uh, some two deck lists and some combos about uh, new uh, um, Infernoble Knights without a Super Heavy Samurai. So uh, some of you don't like Super Heavy Samurais and um, I can agree they are bricky past turn one and that is uh, a bummer. So um, I've explored some options that you can still have one card combos and powerful two card combos without uh, the super heavy samurai. So let's get uh, into it. Um, first off, I'm going to showcase the two card combo again, summoning Gearfried and um, uh, with the Bradamante. Someone asked me to showcase the Bradamante combo, so I'm going to do this. And this time, I'm going to go Heritage for Oliver because Oliver is also a two card combo with Ogier. So let's get into it, we go Ogier, send Turpin, Turpin equip and Oliver can send him to special summon as a level 1, we got our level 5 and this is pretty standard for now, but what I like is that by going Oliver here, um, we have Turpin to special summon already in the graveyard and we have um, the two targeting uh, for uh, Angelica. So if your opponent somehow stops you from um, ch chain something so that you can chain uh, Angelica to uh, banish yourself, uh, you can still uh, have Oliver to do that later, so that's really, really good. Um, so yeah, now we can just go Museum, Museum Search, get Almache as always, and then Oliver equip, banish, send the gear free so that we can get an extra interruption later on. And we're gonna special summon Roland, and now we can go Ogier special summon, uh, equip, sorry, so that Turpin can special, and we go Synchro 9, Roland equips, so we can get a uh, Emperor Charles, and we go out, um, and this is, uh, I forgot to tell you, this is a mistake I did. When you go Roland, instead of equipping Ogier, you equip Almache, and then special summon Turpin, and then you can use Almache to get Durandal and search Renaud, like here. So that we need to um, uh, save Ogier for um, the end board, which I'll just showcase you why in a second. So uh, now we're gonna go Museum, Summon, get Renaud, Renaud, get Gearfried, and this is Synchro 9 for Baron, and then we go Gearfried banishing the Randall. And then end phase, we get all of this back. So the reason why we want Ogier saved in the graveyard is that is that when you special summon Gearfried, you want to equip Ogier to Gearfried so that uh, your board is more uh, safe to Kaiju or just removal of Charles. Because right now, Gearfried, um, Charles is the only one that has equipped cards. So if they get rid of this, they get rid of three disruptions. The two Charles disruptions and the Gearfried disruptions. So um, you want Ogier in the graveyard Deal with its effect to uh, equip. Who says Ogier means uh, Oliver? Just you need to have one equip effect on the graveyard saved for a uh, Gearfried so that a Kaiju, for example, on Charles doesn't kill Gearfried as well. And then you're gonna have like a four uh, interruption board with two card combo, two on Charles because he has a spell trap negate and he has a pop with Roland. Um, one negate on Gearfried and another negate on Baron, really good. Um, and this is uh, the center board, which is slightly better than the Angelica one, and I'll sh and it I'll talk to you after I showcase the Angelica one. So let's get into Angelica one. I decided to go Ogier and Renaud, uh, but you can do the same combo. Uh, it's just showcase different lines, and br you're gonna send Bradamante and Ned with Renaud, and go to a Synchro 5, and do the, your usual plays. Get Almache, equip, send Turpin, gonna uh, now equip, uh, I like to use a Bradamante effect to equip, and then use Turpin right here, um, because uh, we save Museum that way. You could also just go Almache and spare summon Turpin, but I want Bradamante in the graveyard, and I'll uh, show you why. So uh, we get uh, these two, get special summon Turpin, and you Synchro 9 for Charles, and now um, 
I go all ma uh, the the reason I want Bradamante is because we go all Mache, get the Randall, and we don't activate the Randall. You just link summon right now, and you're gonna go chain link one Charles, chain link two the Randall, and the Emperor Charles is gonna um, the Randall is gonna special summon back Bradamante, and this is gonna uh, um, equip the other Charles, and we can go museum, and get. Baron and end phase, you're gonna get back Angelic and Mogus. So, this is four interruptions as well two interruptions on Charles, one on Angelic, and another on Baron. The reason why I don't like this board as much is that one, uh, one kaiju removes all of the, the interruptions you have almost, uh, it's three interruptions that you have stuck to Charles. So one Kaiju on Charles just completely destroys this board, and that's the reason I don't like it. Uh, a second reason is that you are trading your Almache that gives you some um, follow-up uh, if it goes to the graveyard. You're trading that for uh, the Angelic, so you still end on the same number of interruptions, and you lose the Almache recovery, and you are more uh, susceptible accessible to uh, kaiju so yeah that's the reason I don't like it. you still get angelic as well so yeah you only use this board against super poly boards for example um, super poly decks for example Brandon and stuff uh, that need to resolve their spells uh, super poly and stuff you can just uh, get angelic for that uh, and the good cool thing is that uh, they would need like uh, a full hand of spells to bait all our interruptions because you still have a spell negates on Charles, you have a Baron that can also negate spells. So they you baiting um, the Angelic Ring is going to be hard because we it negates on resolution. Uh, so if it's already negated by Charles or Baron, it won't use Angelic Ring, uh, which is. Um, uh, a way to go. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, Angelic is just here for Super Poly and stuff, uh, which is why I like more the Gearfried board, because if you do it correctly, and like I did right here, um, you you are safer from uh, Kaijus and di any disruption on Charles. Okay, so now we have the new engines, we have the one card combo with Upper Curtain, so uh, let's get into it, you just go upper curtain, normal summon, get spare, and the only bad thing about this uh, engine is that you lose your battle place, but uh, you know, it's it's budget, so um, it's of course gonna have some drawbacks, the super heavy samurai a drawback is that um, they are bricks going to certain turns, but this, the one card combo, uh, it's, you know, you are not gonna... Uh, use your battle phase going first, but going second sometimes it can hurt uh, unless you just even lead your opponent or something. Uh, but anyways, you just go into um, Dempsey, Dempsey get Renaud, and you activate Dempsey so you get as far to the graveyard for Renaud to bro um, get back and special summon. Go f in group 5, get Museum, Museum get... Uh, here I added Gyos, uh, but it's all Mache. You want all Mache, okay? Uh, it, so pretend this is all Mache. So then we try to equip, Angelica goes out, gets Ogier, and we're gonna equip Ogier and special summon to equip Museum because we just don't have Turpin in the graveyard. So uh, here we are locked onto Warriors, but that's completely fine. We still end on some interruptions. Um, so yeah, we equip Ogier and special summon it with Museum to send the Turpin, and now we have um, a Synchro 9. We go for Charles. And we equip Charles with Turpin, and we go for our Link 1, equip Charles, and now we can special summon Turpin from the graveyard. And now we can um, use both of these to go into SP. And then phase, you get Mogus and Almache, remember this is supposed to be Almache, so that you still hand on... Uh, 
two interruptions on Charles and the one SP Little Knight. This is a three card combo, uh, one card combo for three interruptions. So it that's pretty solid. If you have any extenders, you can make it way better. You can probably not be uh, uh, even just getting a way to not be uh, warrior locked. Doing this board will get you so much more because you can just go IP here instead, and IP is just an extra. Uh, interruption because it makes SP on your opponent's turn and then I SP turns into a double interruption card so that's really really good uh, but you know it's a one card combo it's gonna have its drawbacks but you still have the follow up with all much and Mogis you still have three interruptions that's really good and now uh, the second engine I have for the more budget version is a cash tier engine just a small cash tier engine with uh, three Fenrir, one Rise, Rise Art, because Rise Art is a level four fire monster. So uh, Fenrir, uh, as well as being non-engine, can also be a combo piece if you get your level four warrior that way. So Fenrir plus any way to get into um, Renob, uh is full combo. Uh, so it can be uh, Fenrir plus Museum, Fenrir plus Durandal. Fenrir plus Heritage, Fenrir plus Renaud itself, Fenrir plus um, Rota. So you have a lot of ways to combo off with Fenrir. Um, and it, it just adds another interruption to your board. So uh, we just go here. Um, I decided to get Heritage, so it just don't show, um, show that you don't need to have Renaud. Um, we are going to go um, Heritage for Durand also. This, uh, we're going to use uh, Durandal to showcase this combo so that um, we sh uh, showcase a line that doesn't need to use Durandal in case you use Durandal to get uh, into Renaud. Of course, if you have not used Durandal, you can use Durandal instead uh, later down your combos instead of going for um, uh, the Dryas. But this is how we're going to do if we start with Durandal. So you're going to go Durandal on Fenrir and you're going to get yourself to your Renaud. And a cool thing about uh, starting with Durandal is that you get um, um, you get a card to target um, to target Angelica because even though you activated its effect already, you can still equip it. So that's really good, uh, and it's the best uh, one of the best ways. Of course, these combos are not always going to be the same. Um, of course, that if you can get uh, Durandal uh, at the start, or it's just way better. Otherwise, uh, and uh, besides these two, you're gonna need like any card to target Angelica. Um, otherwise, you'll just lose Almache, and you won't be able to do as much. But you still can do some. So um, then we go normal summon Rise Art, special summon Renaud. Renaud gets. Back to the Randall, so can that we can target Angelica, Synchro Angelica, get Museum. And then we use the Randall to target Angelica, Angelica goes, sends Ogier, since we have not used him yet, and go for Roland. Now here we go, Norval, uh, Noble Arms on um, a Museum to Search, get Almache. Um, we go Ogier, um, Ogier Equip. Then we can uh, spell summon him from uh, the spelling traps. Keep in mind we are warrior locked now. We send Turpin, we synchron, and um, and then we, we equip Almache, sorry, and we spell summon Turpin. You want to do it this way so that um, we can exceed here for Dempsey and get another level 4, just so we can keep Turpin in your graveyard. If not, it doesn't matter, you can let it banish. Uh, which I think I did right here. No, I went for Dempsey, but it's the same thing if you go for Dempsey or not. Uh, you can just get your Turpin Banish and recycle it next turn with Mogus, but uh, if you want to keep it in the graveyard somehow, yes, go Dempsey, something. It's the same. Now you can get Sparrow, Sparrow and Roland. Going to the um, 9. Then you want to use Dempsey, not to send OG, but to send Turpin. So that Turpin can equip. Oh yeah, right. You need to go into Dempsey because you want the equip on um on Turpin. 
uh, to equip uh, with Turpin. Uh, I mean, no, because you haven't used Roland, but uh, yeah, Turpin is, is nice to have to equip. In, ca in case, for example, right here, you have uh, a museum, a an extra museum. Uh, going to Dempsey is really good because then you can just go Turpin here and then go um, second museum, get Charles back, and then Charles uh, goes into another, uh, can can be equipped with Roland to go into another um, Link 1, which is really nice. Then we equip Charles, call Mache, get Joyous, and Joyous gonna add back Spar. Oh yeah, that's, um, never mind. You need to go to Dempsey to make this. Because uh, with Joyous, we will make so that um, Spare gets special summon twice for our end board. Uh, so since we're locked on Warriors, this uh, is pretty much uh, needed uh, for us to get into our uh, our line. Um, because yeah, we have no extender here, so uh, we need to have Joyous for Spare. So then we get Joyous Spare and use those two to make SP. If you are not warrior locked, you can just make uh, IP instead. But yeah, this is the same as the two card combo, as the one card combo for Uppercut. As you see, it's the exact same board, uh, instead this time I use all much a well. Except you now have Fenrir, which going second can be really nice because you can um, use Fenrir to just um, get rid of some disruptions into the battle phase and then combo off normally is really good and of course it's not budget but you probably uh will, will be more likely to spend 50 euros on the cash engine uh, than 300 euros on um um the uh, sinful spiles engine but yeah so this is a uh, uh, novel uh, sorry Durandal plus Fenrir, uh, or Heritage plus Fenrir. Um, it's going to be slightly worse, your board, if you don't get uh, an equip spell, uh, because you're going to lose uh, Joyous and Almache. So, um, sorry, you're going to only lose uh, Joyous. So, um, you're probably going to lose your Fenrir from this board. You can still just, if you have uh, Renov plus. Uh, Fenrir, you can probably still end on uh, SP Emperor Charles, but of course it's not going to be as good as this board. So uh, yeah, um, but there's another two card combo with Fenrir that is even better, which is Fenrir plus Museum, and you're going to see why it's better. So we're going to go Fenrir and Museum. Fenrir get Isart. You're gonna go museum gets Durandal. Then you're gonna go Durandal, get Renaud, summon Rizard, and then go Renaud get Durandal. So it's the same state we had last time, but we have another museum. Now we equip Durandal, banish, send Ogier. We're gonna be the exact same thing. We are warrior lock the same, send Turpin. Now we're gonna go for the second museum, get Almache. Get Almachi equipped, uh, make Dempsey get Sparrow, and I want to use Almachi to get Joyous equipped to Dempsey. Um, then we go and uh, we make um, the, um, the Synchro 9, get the Link 1, uh, then we go Joyous, get back Sparrow and pop itself. And then we go for uh, Sparrow, make SP. And the cool thing about we have the second Noble Arms Museum is that we can still special summon the Charles. So now we can equip Roland and make an extra interruption on our board and get still Magius, Salmache, and Angelica. So now this is a. Uh, Two interruption on this Charles, three interruptions if you count uh, with this one, four with SP, and five with Fenrir. This is a five interruption board off of two cards. Uh, this is the best board you can get with Fenrir plus Museum. And of course, going second is also really good because you can just um, get Fenrir to uh, bait 
some interactions with your opponent before going to your combo, which is really good. And he, since you're going second, you can also use um, SP's first effect, since you're gonna make it with Dempsey um, to banish a card, which is really nice. And yeah, this is for our more budget version, the card combos that you can do. Uh, of course, are not as good as the combos that I'm about to show, which are Sinful, Wanted, and the Randall. And it's not like the boards are stronger, it's more that you're more protected with with this combo. Because right here, uh, this combo makes Baron under 5 summons. So let's get into it. Um, so draw phase, we're gonna go and um, get Wanted. I get Die Star. Main phase, special summon, get the sinful spoils, then you go to Randall, add sublimation knight, which is insane right now. Then you go sublimation, equip Turpin, and since it's equipped with Turpin, it's considered a tuner for a synchro summon. So now we get Baron, and now we can um, equip Turpin to Baron. And since we have a face up card other than Baron, we can go sinful spoils and special summon. We card that from the deck without getting rid of our Baron. And we card that to get back the Turpin and makes the Synchro 5. So now we go Angelica, get Museum, Museum, get Almache. And then right here, uh, if we want um, to not get Warrior Locked. Uh, and have a decent uh, board. Um, we want to use Baron, but be careful because um, your opponent may interrupt this, and then Baron just destroyed your Angelica. But well, it is what it is. Um, that's how what we have to do to combo. It's uh, then we uh, we get Angelic effect, send Ogier. And get Roland, we're gonna equip Almaj and spare summon Turpin so that we keep the Ogier equip so that we don't get locked. Then we get Joyous with Almache equipped to Baron so that we can use it later. Gonna go for Charles, Charles, get Ogier, and then we're gonna go Museum. Um, spare summon Ogier. We are not locked this time because we control Charles. Then Charles effects, then Renaud. And now we can get Renaud. If effect, you go Roland equip. Go into Emperor Charles. Charles equips the other Charles. And now you can go Renaud, activate, and get the Randall. And you can make an IP right here. And you get the draw with Wanted. And end phase, you get Magus and Almachi. And of course, Angelica. So, this board, we have two interruptions on Charles, one interruption on Baron, so it's three interruptions. And the Baron was made before five summons. And we have uh, extra, dis uh, extra two disruptions with IP, because IP is gonna make with Angelica the SP. It's gonna be one interruption on summon. And a second interruption later down the turn, and you got follow up as the Randall, and you have a random draw, and you still have Mogus to get you another draw during your opponent's turn when it's sent to the graveyard to, do a, to negate something uh, with Charles. And if Almachi gets, uh, if Almachi gets to the graveyard by like uh, removing Charles, you just uh, get more follow up. So yeah, this is the board. As you can see, the board is stronger with just two card combo. It's safer because you can play um, under the Nibiru with Baron, and uh, it's slightly stronger. But of course, super expensive engines will always be better than budget versions. But the, the budget versions also make really. Comp competitive boards, it's just this one is really better, it has a better follow-up, um, and yeah, it's just way, way better. Um, you can, if you don't want IP, uh, if you don't want a Renault instead, you can, like, um, 
just keep turping in your graveyard. Um, and just uh, send Gearfried instead of Renaud, and you will end on um, the same board, but with Gearfried instead. It depends on what you want. If you value more the SP or if you value more Omni Negates, then you can just trade the IP Masquerina for a, a Gearfried on board. Uh, with uh, a monster equipped to it, so uh, yeah, it just depends on what you value more. Uh, but yeah, this is the two card combo, and then here you have the uppercutter, but wanted uh, with wanted. Uh, so you can go uh, wanted, get a bell star, uppercut, get sparer, and then we go into the normal combo as I showcased you earlier. Pretty standard, nothing new here, but the cool thing is that now. Here, you can go museum, get Almache, and you use Almache to get Ogier and Roland. And now here, the cool thing is, um, we sent Ogier. We can go into Die Bellstar, which can get Snake Eyes. We can get Ricargetto and get Ogier. Ogier is gonna send Turpin. So um. If you have wanted, uh, you most likely can do uh, the other Durandal combo. Of course, you can. Uh, because you really just, just, need, um, just need a way to sublim sublimation knight instead of Durandal. It doesn't have to be in Durandal. So it can be so much stuff. It, it can be... Uh, can be Rota instead of the Durandal. It but the Durandal is just a bit better because then Renault gets gets you follow up. But still, it, it, I mean, no, actually, not starting with Durandal is better because then you can just uh, instead of Joyous, you get Durandal and you send to the graveyard the Gearfried. So then you have that board plus Gearfried, which uh, I, I'll showcase right now. Actually, after after this one. Uh, we'll do a, a combo together, and um, yeah, um, uh, the the difference um, the difference here uh, is that um, you don't play. Uh, this is not respecting the bureau. So if you have access to any warrior, you still get submission knight so that you can play uh, around the bureau. But if you don't respect Nibiru, you can just go for this instead. So yeah, uh, then Ogier gets Turpin right here. Now you can go for the Synchro 9 with those two. Get Charles. Turpin equips. Get the, um, the Emperor equipped with that one. Then we go Turpin, Special Summon. We can go uh, Museum, Summon, Charles. Get the Baron. And these two can get the IP Mascarina. And so it's basically the same board, but um, uh, yeah, I didn't do the, the random draw. Um, yeah, this is uh, the same board if you get upper cutter. But uh, still, the other one is the other combo is way better, and I just found a way to make it way better right now. Uh, so I'll showcase it uh, in a second. Yeah, this is a full board. Uh, it's still the same uh, five interruptions. Uh, really, really good. And you have the draw. Uh, you don't have as much follow up, but you still have the draw with um, the Seeker. But yeah. Um, let's just get into the other uh, combo then uh, that I just realized is way better. Uh, let's go. Uh, this one is a more expensive version. So we just want wanted plus anyway that doesn't do sublimation knight that doesn't use the rental so it can be sublimation knight itself it can be uh, uh rota And yeah, doesn't have much because uh, yeah, the other one search um, 
Noble Knight Monster or Noble Arms, so yeah, you have to use the Randall. But if you already have Soul Mission Knight, the board gets way better, and I'm just gonna show a case here. Let's get a random draw. Yes, Nibiru, of course. So in the draw phase, you go Wanted. And you get our Witch. Main phase, you go Summon the Witch, and then the Nibiru. And get Sinful Spoils. Then we are going to normal summon the sublimation effect to equip the turpin. It is now considered a tuner, so let's get into Baron. And we're still playing around the bureau. Then we can equip turpin to Baron because Baron is a warrior. Then we activate snake eyes, send the turpin, summon Ricardetto. And Ricardetto gets our turpin. And we get Angelica. Angelica in fact gets Museum. Then we're gonna use Angelica. Um, Baron target Angelica and Angelica effect to banish and Ogier. Uh, send Ogier. Uh, yeah, I think so. And get Roland. We're going to museum. Museum. Get uh, Almache. Where is Almache? Right here. Then we can equip it to Baron. Special summon the Turpin. Um. Then we go into Charles. We can equip Roland for the Link One and Link One get this one. And we have not uh special summon Ogier yet. We can uh equip Ogier so Charles Museum effect Ogier effect and Irfrid, and you go Almache, get you the Randall, and the Randall effect, you get Renaud. Then we go Renaud, get uh, Renaud effect, we'll get Irfrid, we make IP with these two, and then you go Irfrid, banishing the Randall. And you still uh, have your random draws, so you can go this, the bottom, draw one. Uh, the only bad thing is we don't have uh, an equip for Gearfried, so once again, a kaiju on Charles is going to get rid of that. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, we go to end phase right here. Um, Angelica hits the board later, so we're gonna just activate Charles, get Mog, just get Almache. All of them are equipped. Charles. And Angelica comes back in face, so you have two interruptions on Charles and Gate and the Pop. You have two interruptions on Mascarina, because you can just link her off for the SP. Which is two interruptions because it was made using uh, an extra monster, uh, extra um, extra deck monster. So two interruptions, four interruptions, fifth interruption on Gearfried, sixth interruption on Baron, and the only thing is you have not, you don't have the Durandal on your hand for next turn. You have the random draw, uh, so you still have three cards on your hand because you use and draw one so you have three cards on your hand and you have six interruptions that's the board that's really really good i i just thought of it of course not going to be as easy to get a soul mission knight but it is what it is so let's get into the deck profile um you just play the same roster of uh infernoble monsters museum heritage etc the only difference now is that uh, you can uh, play the three upper curve, one spare, or you can just play two spare if you want, but I like the three and one. 
this is the Edna one card combo, and then we have the three Fenrir one Rise Art, and because of uh, the super heavy uh, engine uh, being like uh, a bit bigger than these two engines, uh, you can have some uh, open uh, slot, one extra open slot. Uh, but if you don't want to play these talents, uh, of course you can just get more uh, of your um, Infernoble like, like For example, I can put this here um, and I can put uh, more Ogiers, more Renauds. You can put Prosperities here if you want. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying some things. But yeah, talents seems really good of a card. And of course, in this version you can play Spells and Traps because we're not playing the Super Heavy Samurais. Uh, the Bradamante Angelic Ring on the side, as always. Uh, Baron, double Angelic, uh, so that if you get interrupted on your combo, uh, at least you have an option to try again next turn, if you can hold off. Um, because, like, if if your opponent, like, um, manages a way to, um, to interrupt your Angelic, uh, uh, even with uh, some, like, um, extenders, unless you have more cards to target Angelica, the best you can do is just end on SP. So, uh, the second Angelica can be good for decks, uh, for uh, duels where your opponent interrupts your Angelica from uh, doing its thing. Um, then you have one Roland, one Charles for the combo, one Dempsey uh, for combos as well. It's really, really good, especially since we play Spare in the deck because of the upper cutter. Uh, combo line it is really really good sometimes then we have one typhon one zeus i like this so that um if we go dempsey um on your one card combo upper card dempsey and get the um the renaud instead of uh, activating its effect to protect for targeting um you can still do that you can activate its effect to protect from targeting and then you can just go battle attack something main phase to make zeus uh, oh wait, you can't because of spare, but um, in every other, every other combo, if you make the MC, you can just go battle phase, Zeus, uh, Zeus your opponent's board, and then extend from there. Uh, but yeah, I just forgot for a second that spare uh, locks you from battle phase, but uh, if you manage to make the MC without spare, uh, you can just uh, do as, as Zeus, uh, get Zeus to... Uh, Remove your opponent's interruptions and then combo off. I just wish you would discard it and lock it from battle phase, but it will be too broken then, I think, because this is not once per turn special summon. Um, then we have the two Emperor Charles for the combos. Uh, so most times we only use one, but sometimes we can end on the second one if you want. Then we have Link Spider so that we can make SP when we get Nibiru. We have an anima because we play a lot of Link. Uh, of um, we play some level ones in here, so uh, anime can be really good sometimes to get over some big monsters um, and OTK easy. IP uh, because it's a really good option paired up with SP, um, and then the way you don't have to uh, spend extra money on a second SP uh, if you want. Sometimes you can play double SP. Uh, I just feel like uh, you can still play if you like take off Zeus, for example. I think Typhon is really good and a must. But you can take off Susan and play another SP. I just I don't want to play an another SP because I don't have uh, access to a second SP. So um, yeah, one SP and then one Appaloosa um, because sometimes it can be useful. And this is the more version, a budget version. Of course, this is a 50 euro engine right down here, but it's still way better than the want engine in terms of money. Uh, the want engine, uh, the version for it, it's here. It doesn't have as much slots because you want to see this engine as much as you can. You can even play three uh, witch if you find the room for it. I just I really want nine slots of non engine as well. Um, you just go one of every uh, warrior because now you can't have double OG because you need the submissionite for the combos. Play around the bureau and have it a two card combo f with uh, black witch. The rest is pretty standard uh, ratios, 3, 3, 3 of anything, because you want consistency. Uh, Rota, of course. We still play the upper curve engine right here. Uh, I feel like um, it pairs well with the Black Witch sometimes. Um, then, of course, we have 
sinful spoils, uh, the one that's uh, engine uh, three, uh, three wanted uh, two black witch because we don't have space for the third one, unfortunately. One or uh, sinful spoils, and that's non engine. And the extra decks is just really simple as well. Baron, Angelic, uh, uh, Captain Roland and Charles, Dempsey, Typhon, uh, Zeus. And yeah, it's basically the same extra deck. Just the main deck changes a bit. But yeah, uh, I hope this helped you guys um, find some new combos and new ways to play this deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, drop a like down below. If you have any questions for me or any suggestions, you can um, talk to me in the comments. Uh, I I reply to all, basically every comment that I get, um, or at least try to. And yeah, subscribe, never miss any of my future videos. I'm sorry if this one was not uh, as well talked to or something. I just make it made it really fast because I think I'm getting a bit sick um, right now. So my voice is not at the best, and um, I didn't prepare as much for this video. So yeah, uh, still. I found you some great combos, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm gonna see you guys next time.